morning students in today's class we are going to learn a departmental accounts let's see the small calculations calculation of closing stock the formula for calculation of closing stock is equal to close opening stock plus purchase minus sales you need to remember this formulas so calculate the closing stock from the following so opening stock purchase sales are given opening stock plus purchase minus sales will give you closing stock so 10000 plus 150000 minus of 1,30,000 that will give you the loan stock. Let's see the answer. Here it is. One more time. I'm writing closing stock is equal to opening stock plus purchase minus sales. So for department A, opening stock is 10,000 plus purchase 1,50,000. Total comes to 1,60,000 minus 1,30,000. The balance is 30,000 units. That is closing stock. And for department B, 12,000 plus 2,40,000 minus 2 lakh 28,000 is equal to 24,000 units let's see one more problem calculation of purchase so here for purchase it is sales plus closing stock minus opening stock so formula is sales plus closing stock minus opening stock next here calculate the purchase from the following department a b opening stock units given closing stock in units given sales in units given now the formula says sales plus closing stock minus opening stock sales is 70,000 plus closing stock 12,000 minus opening stock 24,000 that will give you purchase so purchase is given now let's see the solution so purchase is equal to sales plus closing stock minus opening stock you need to remember this formula so that you can find out all small small calculation so next we have department a sales 70,000 plus closing stock 12,000 minus opening stock 24,000 that will give you 58,000 next we have department b 91,000 sales plus closing stock 59,000 minus 39,000 that will give you 1,11,000 units that is the purchase and next we will move on to another problem let's see apportion the following expenses please uh, read the question carefully apportion the following expenses on the basis of cost of sales underline this one cost of sales ratio among the four departments we have to find out the cost of sales ratio since the cost of sales ratio only we have to do apportion the expenses of the following department department a b c d are given the sales of each departments are given for a it is 2 lakh b it is 1 lakh 50 thousand C one lakh, D fifty thousand. Gross profit ratio is twenty percent on sales, and the expense fare as follows: six thousand for salary, rent one thousand five hundred, insurance thousand three hundred. So first of all, by the given sales, uh, sales is given. So gross profit is on sales is twenty percent is given. So find out the gross profit uh, of the following departments. So first let find out the gross profit of the following department. So first for say gross profit ratio, gross profit is equal to sales into gross profit ratio. So gross profit for department A is sales 2 lakh into 20% that is 40,000. Gross profit for the department B is sales 1 lakh 50,000 into 20% that is 30,000. For department C 1 lakh into 20% is 20,000. Department D 50,000 into 20% that is 30,000. 10,000. Next, we have to calculate the cost of goods sold ratio. So for calculation of cost of goods sold ratio, the uh, cost of goods sold is equal to sales minus gross profit. So, what is the sales we have co 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 we already given in the question? So, for department A, it is 2 lakh. Gross profit already we have calculated 40,000. So, it is 160,000. Next, for department B, it is 150,000 minus 30,000. It is 120,000. For department C, the sales is 1 lakh, cost of it is 20,000, few detectors, 80,000 the balance. Cost of goods sold of department D, sales is 50,000 and cross profit is 10,000, you detect it, you will get 40,000. So, 1 lakh 60 is to 1 lakh 20 is to 1 lakh, uh, sorry, 1 lakh 20 is to 80,000 is to 40,000. So, cancel. Uh, you can cancel four zeros so cancel four zeros common so 16 is to 12 is to 8 is to 4 can 
be written as 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. So, cost of goods sold ratio we have calculated. Why we are calculating this particular cost of goods sold ratio? Because here the expenses are to be apportioned in the cost of goods sold ratio. Next, we will move on to the, the final calculation that is the apportionment of the expenses. See, for salary amount is given 6,000, 6, rent amount 1,500, insurance it is 1,300. It is not 1,301, it is 1,300, there is some mistake there. So, base of apportionment, we have calculated the cost of good, goods sold ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. And for department DA, so 6,000 is 6,000 is divided among A, B, C, D in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. So, in this ratio, we have to uh, divide. So, while dividing it, we will get, uh, you all know how to divide. First, you total 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So, 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 1, 10. So, denominator comes to 10. So, 6000 into 4 by 10, 3 by 10, 2 by 10, like that, you have to calculate. So, you will get 2400, 1800, 1200 and 600. For rent, 1500, again 1500 into so, 4 by 10, 3 by 10 and 2 by 10. So, we will get 600, 450, 300 and 150. Next, insurance, we have 1300. It is not uh, uh, 13,001. It is 1300. So, divide that 1300 in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. So, we get 520, 390, 260 and 130. So, total the column we get 8800 for department A 3250, department B 2649 and department C 1760. For department D it is 8080. So, that is all. So, we have calculated the required information. So, with that we will come to the end of this class. We will meet you once again. Thank you.